Welcome everyone, this is Anta with Google Products. Today's video is on AutoCAD 2020 and how to create a custom tool palette. This is a request by an end user from last week. So here I am in AutoCAD 2020. If I head over to the View tab of the ribbon, I can turn on my tool palette functionality and it shows up here. You can resize it, you can dock it, um, and several other things. The way the tool palette functions is there's a whole bunch of tabs and as you click inside the tabs there are blocks and potentially other commands that you can customize and put in here. For example the door right here that says Imperial I can obviously use it and place the object and it works in this vein and you can just use this across multiple files. How do I make my own custom tab with my own custom blocks? Before we do so, if you right click one of those blocks and go to properties, you'll get an idea of how it's set up. You can take this window and you can expand this window if you need to as well. In this tool properties window, it gives you an image, it gives you a name and a description that you can change. If you want to change the image, you can right click and say specify image and then create a light and a dark themed icon for your specific block or your specific object. Uh, the name can be anything you want. The description you can be anything you want. The most important thing really is looking here where it says source file. And it's looking at a particular file that is a read-only file that came shipped with the software. And it's extracting that block out each time you initiate the command to use in a file. So we want to create our own. And so what I've done initially is I created a generic AutoCAD file called source file. This file, you need to place it on your server uh, in some kind of a shared network location that all of the AutoCAD machines in the office can see. And in this particular source file, I have a few blocks I've already created. Okay, so this one here, this one, and so what you want to do is create the blocks first in this particular file. You can always organize it however you want, but as long as the blocks are in the source file, then you can customize your tool palette. If we right click the command line and go to options, you'll see under file tab of the ribbon, there is a section for tool palettes file location. And this is where it's telling the software to look for the tool palettes. And this is the default location. So you can either select it and remove it, or you can add additional locations. I would advise you leave the default and then add additional locations like the network location where that custom source file is going to reside. My source file uh, is going to reside for now on the, the temp folder. So if I go to my D drive and go to temp folder, I just have the source file here. So let's just pretend that that's my server location. I can go over to the tool palette. I can right click any one of the tabs or right click over here in the binding and I can create a new palette. When I do this, it gives me a blank one and it asks me for a name. So I call it whatever I want. I'm just going to call it test for now. And then if you right click, you can move it up or down in whatever order you want. And it's blank. So you can take the blocks that you've created in the source file, select it, left click and hold the line work, not the grip, the line work, and drag it into that new tool palette, and it'll put it in. The name of it is going to be the name of the block. So this one was called Round Table and Chairs. I'll grab the second one, drag and place it. And it is case sensitive, so when you created the block, whatever you named it, it's using that exact name. So if you want to be really consistent, Make sure you take into that take that into account. Also, when you create the block, the layers, the colors, all of that information is also what's captured as well. So that's why you see over here in the blocks it looks identical. If you right click any one of them and go to properties, 
It'll tell you the source file, it'll show you the image icon, the name, you can put a description, and so on. Okay. Now that that's finished, that tool palette is created and you can use it in any uh, AutoCAD file that you want to moving forward. Now, uh, if you want to take this custom tool palette and use it for other AutoCAD applications, uh, other AutoCADs on other computers in your office, what you'll want to do, like I said earlier, is go to the options of the software and on each AutoCAD, on each computer, and verify that you have that network path location specified. And this particular file, tool palette file, is also stored in that network location. If by chance you want to make sure that it's read only so nobody can alter it, all you need to do is in the Windows Explorer, drill down to that file, right click it and set it as read only. And it'll put a little lock symbol in the lower right corner of the tool palette right here. And then it can be used in all of the other uh, computers that are running AutoCAD. So now if I start a new drawing and I just left click and drag, I can actually just use the blocks as you can see here. Okay. And so that's how you create a custom tab within the tool palettes functionality of the AutoCAD software and how you can use it on multiple files and put it on a network location. Thank you very much for watching.